What's going on, YouTube? OCD for EDC here. I'm sitting here with my lovely wife, Molly. Say Bonjour. hello. And what we've got for your face balls today is a knife sale. So I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks. Uh, this one, I've got a lot of knives to sell. And so it's taken me a while to get it all put together and whatnot. We've just been busy doing uh, life things. But the day, today is the day. And we're going to get right into it. So right off the top, my email address will be in the description below. The list of knives for sale will be in the description below. So check out the description to see. And I will do my best to mark things sold as they sell. Uh, but send me all the the stuff for the knife sale. Don't, don't message me on YouTube or anything. Send all your questions to my email address, info at OCD4EDC. It's in the description. Send it anywhere else. It, it may get missed. And ignored. Yep, yep. So just all of the correspondence pertaining to this knife sale goes through that email address, okay? So first thing, that's first thing. Secondly, um, when it comes to payment, once I have confirmed and, and emailed you back, and said, yes, it's yours, I will send you payment instructions there. Um, I would like, I would prefer all the payments come through PayPal, but if you don't have PayPal and you wanna work out something else, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, I've had people in the past send checks. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. However, just understand that I am not gonna ship the knives until the check clears. So, you know, just so you understand that. Uh, but I've also had people send cash and other things. Like I said, I'm willing to work with you. Just, you know, let me know that in the email. Uh, but don't just go ahead and if you already have my PayPal, don't just send money there until I confirm that the knife is yours. Okay. So I don't want to get into having to refund. It just gets messy. So, so just make sure you get the email from me saying, yes, this knife is yours. And then, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, Knives, unless stated otherwise, all of the knives are in brand new condition. Uh, and unless I tell you otherwise, they will all come with the factory box and paperwork and cleaning cloths and any, any pouch or anything that comes with that knife. These will all come with, unless I say differently uh, throughout this, there's only a couple that don't, that are, that are not new and may or may not have the box or something. Actually, I don't think there's any that don't have the box. But but anyway, I'll, I will state that as I'm going through the list uh, and showing you the knives. So otherwise, they're all brand new in box. I have a whole bunch of Spyderco knives in this sale. All of the Spyderco knives in this sale are collector club knives. They will all come with the original packaging, original paperwork, and the original collector club card or certificate. So just to put that out there. Also, all the knives, the prices include shipping and uh, a couple of stickers. So if you want extra stickers out of the ones you see here, um, you can purchase them. They're two bucks a piece, uh, but you will get a couple with every single knife that sells. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to take orders or whatever for it. I'm just going to throw the stickers in the way they are. So you may get one of these or two of those or one of each or, you know, whatever. You're just going to get you a couple get stickers. what you get and you don't throw a bit. There you go. That's right. Okay, so one other thing that I thought would be kind of fun and to make this sale a little bit more interesting is I'm going to throw in some free items as items sell. So uh, for the after the first five items sell, someone is randomly going to win this knife right here. This is the CRKT uh, Crawford Casper CK folder. Uh, and then... From there, I'm going to throw in another knife every 10 items that sell. And I'm just going to, we're going to use a random number picker. Um, all these uh, knives are numbered. And so just based off the number of how people buy them, um, I'm just going to use a random number picker. And so people will just win some free knives. So here are the knives that I'm throwing in. So we got the CRKT Crawford Casper. 
We've got the Harns Assassin. This one has been HRC tested. Uh, it does have a couple divots right there on the blade. Uh, 14C28N. We have the CJRB with some stuff on the blade. Uh, that's Dylan. Every, that's free bonus. That's free bonus. Uh, Dylan Mallory Design Centros. We have the Kubi Knife. Kubi something or other. I don't know. It's in D2. I can't remember what this one's called. Um, I put a little larger uh, forward choil in the knife to make it uh, man-sized. But it's actually quite a nice little knife. I like it quite a bit. Uh, so we got that one. And then we also have got... A Tucson TS50 in 14C28N. No, I keep that. That's mine now. You want this one? I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. So these five knives, if if we sell um, over 40 knives, these five will all be given away to somebody. So these will just randomly, um, and I'll probably follow up and, and tell who got these. Uh but I just thought it'd be cool to throw some random stuff in there uh, and you guys could win some some cool items. I also have a couple other little things like pry bar, a couple little pry bar tools and whatnot. So I may throw some of that stuff in too, just randomly. Uh, but there you go. So get that out of the way. I do like the blade shape on that that Tucson. The Tucson? Mm-hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa. Good whoa. Lord, I'm already dropping stuff. Yeah, that's a cool one for sure. And really, really tall flat grind, uh, super thin behind the edge, red and black G10. It's an awesome, awesome knife. Hmm. On ceramic bearings, it's a cool one. Deep carry pocket clip. So buy some knives and buy, it could be yours. Yeah, buy some knives and you may win an extra one. So, um, you know, these knives, they're just lower priced budget knives that... You know, by the time I pay shipping and stuff on them, it just, yeah, whatever. So I just threw them in as a thank you. Pay it forward. Pay it forward. There you go. All right. So uh, first things first, we're going to get through. Uh, I'm going to go through the manufacturers kind of in alphabetical order. Um, not The knives aren't all listed by alphabetical order, the name of the knife, but I've kind of split out the manufacturers in alphabetical you order. You don't know the alphabet. Well, barely. I'm, I'm just learning. So I'm going to move a couple stickers out of the way and we're going to get right into it. Uh, like I said, all these come with the boxes. They're all in like brand new condition. And here's knife number one. This is the Benchmade Auto Bedlam. This is a plain edge. You can see it's black coated. It's a beast. Auto access lock. Uh, 154 cm blade steel amazing knife uh they're like 250 bucks brand new you can have this one for 225 so uh civivi mckenna in damascus black g10 i know these are no longer available you can't find them anywhere uh this one here is 90 bucks and again these all include shipping and some stickers uh next knife up is a hogue uh, this is the EXA01. Uh, this is a three and a half inch version. You can see here that it's partially serrated. It's got like a mirrored edge on it. Comes with the factory box. It does have, I mean, you basically you can't tell this thing's ever been carried. However, it does have a little tiny nick on the back of the aluminum scale. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. Um, it's super minor, but anyway, uh, you know, it's like a two hundred and ten or fifteen dollar knife, one hundred and forty bucks. Next one up, Kershaw Launch Eight. Uh, this is the Stiletto Side Opening Auto, uh, one or CPM one fifty four blade steel. I have added a deep carry clip to this one, uh, which makes this fully deep carry. It's a, it's a really nice, uh, a nice addition to this little knife right here. And this one here is a $110. Next up, the Kaiser Maestro, uh, CPM S35 VN blade steel, titanium scales. Awesome knife. Really, really dig this one. I'm actually kind of sad to see this one go. I um, was going to say, why is that not in my kitchen? <laughs> yeah, I, I really love this knife, actually. I just got to make room. I just, too much stuff going on. But the Maestro, 160 bucks. Next up, another Kaiser, Micro Lift. It's a baby. Yeah, uh, it's got the uh, fat carbon scales. 
cool, cool knife. It's a small little guy, uh, but flipping action on it is really good. Titanium liner, S35VN blade steel, really cool knife, titanium pocket clip. Uh, this guy here is 120 bucks. Next up, Kaiser GTI. This thing is basically kind of like a small version of a Hinderer XM18. Uh, this knife is assisted. So, uh, really cool knife. Uh, titanium frame. <clears throat> oh, G10 scales. It's got a beautiful hollow grind on the blade. And like a, kind of like a titanium nitride coating on the blade, I think. I'm not sure exactly what the coating is. Uh, and again, all these Kaisers, these are premium Kaisers, so they come with a really nice black like double opening box with all the paperwork, pouch, all that stuff's in there. Uh, the GTI here, this one is $110. And like I said, it is assisted. Uh, S35VN blade steel on this guy. Didn't even know he had that one. Next, next one up is the Lion Steel TRE. Uh, this is M390 blade steel. You can see right there. Lion Steel Italy M390. It's got carbon fiber show side, uh, titanium on the uh, frame or the frame lock side. And now this one has the uh, removable flipper tab. It also comes with the tools um, and the packaging. It comes with the thumb stud, the hardware or I'm sorry, the thumb disc and the tools, all the stuff is there. This thing retails for like 225 or something like that, somewhere in that range. Uh, this thing is 140 bucks. And it does, like I said, it does come with the packaging. All right, next one is a multi-tool. Oop, I'm dropping stuff. Leatherman, uh, this is the uh, Charge AL. Uh, aluminum, black aluminum scales. This has the 154 cm uh, blades, and it comes with the packaging, with the pouch or the the uh, sheath, and the bit kit. Uh, this one here is eighty five dollars. All right, what are we on to now? Max Ace. Oh, Max Ace Ranger. This one is black micarta. It is XW forty two blade steel. Uh, similar to D2, kind of, sort of, it, pretty much D2, uh, 50 bucks for the Max Ace, uh, cool knife and black micarta. Next one, we have the Manleak, uh, Comrade. This is a, just a man-sized version of the Manly Wasp. I'm sure a lot of people have heard about that knife because a lot of reviewers have done it. Uh, this one is in CPM 154, and if you know anything about Manly, really really good blade grinds but it is a slip joint and it's like the wasp where it's got like four blades uh, stops when you open it so it's a little bit strange but a really great work knife uh, this one is orange and black g10 it's got a pocket clip on it awesome knife awesome blade steel there you go next up uh Aragon. yeah i'm sorry there we go Next it's okay. up is I'll the, run the, ship. the it's Paragon E Stiletto. Now, this knife does have a few scratches on it, a few nicks here and there. Um, it is red. Uh, I'm not sure what the coating is on the aluminum scales. The blade is uh, CPM S30V, and it's basically unused, but it does have a few little scratches and nicks here and there. Uh, but I don't think it's ever been carried. I certainly have not carried it. And uh, these things sell for like 260 or 270, something like that. You can get it here, 200 bucks. Um, all right, next one is the Quiet Carry Chase. Uh, this one is in a CPM 20 CV. If you can see it right there, right here on the blade. Uh, Black G10, really nice knife. Uh, thumb opening. Oop as I screw it up and yeah just a, just a great everyday you know EDC knife all the way around deep carry pocket clip awesome <laughs> knife uh, this thing is brand new packaging and everything 110 bucks um, so there you go uh, QSP 
uh, Pelican in brown micarta. This one does have the two-tone blade. It's S35VN micarta. It does have titanium milled pocket clip. Awesome knife. Liner lock. Comes with the pouch. Nice box. <laughs> it's like a drawer style box. Yuck, yuck. What? Nice box. Nice box. <laughs> hey, nice box. Uh, next one up is the Real Steel Rocket. Uh, this is a another great knife. Um, N690 blade steel. You've got thumb studs or you have a front flipper and the geometry is great on this one. Nice deep carry pocket clip. Uh, the Real Steel uh, Rocket is $75. Um, oh, you want to flip the page there? Well, yep. Okay. That one sold already. Oh, well, there's another there. one that you would... Yeah, just, okay. we're good. All right. Um, there, uh, just to let you know, um, a few guys had access to this list prior to the sale. Uh, some of my patrons... So if you guys want to get early access to knife sales, uh, you can go check out my Patreon. There'll be a link in the description for that as well. Okay, now we're going to get into um, some... Wait a minute, did I, I forgot one over here, didn't I? Yeah. So I was trying this to one. tell you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so, I'm sorry, I screwed up. I'm right. Col you witnessed it here first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's right. So I missed the cold steel. Cold Steel, Tie Light, Chris. Uh, this one is in 440C. It's an awesome knife. It's a huge beast of a thing. Um, and, yeah, really good action. Blades perfectly centered. Just an absolute beast of a knife. And it is 110... Uh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. $115 for the Tie Light, Chris. Okay. Now, I'm back on track. Or I should be anyway. Okay, so now we're going to get into spider co's. I got a whole bunch of spider co's, so we're just going to start going through them. First one up is this is a Blade Ops exclusive uh, blacked out uh, Emerson PM2. This one is in CPM S30V. It's got the Emerson Wave. Uh, cool knife. Totally blacked out, black blade, black G10, black clip. Uh, this one is $175. And again, it comes with the collector club uh, card, box, paperwork, all the stuff. This one, I don't really want to touch it too much, but it is the copper, um, just because I cleaned it the other day. Well, whatever. I'm going to have to clean it again anyway. I was going to say to whoever buys this, I'm going to... Um put my fingerprints on it and hopefully they patina by the time it gets there <laughs> yeah be a so little added treasure <laughs> rex 45 uh copper uh blade hq exclusive pm2 uh comes with all the stuff and it's brand new never been used i have touched it uh, but it will come to you looking brand new with maybe one of my wife's prints right in the middle of it <laughs> just for good measure um but this particular knife right here, action on it is perfect. It's a perfect example all the way around. And uh, this one is $300. Next one, the Flash Batch Bombshell. This one has never been carried. Perfect in every single way. Comes with all the stuff that it came with from the factory. And this knife right here. I think they're going on eBay for like 500 bucks or something. But anyway, uh, 350 bucks if you want the bombshell. All right, where are we at now? Yo, oh. John Bo. Yep. Another one that I don't yeah, even know that it's that it's out yet, honestly. Um, this is the Spyderco Yo Jumbo. And this is in CPM S30V. Really sweet hollow ground blade. Awesome knife. Action's great. Just a beast of a knife, big big boy, uh, and this thing is 175 bucks. Blown away, you're buying that. Selling that? Selling that, I mean. I'm not yeah. buying it. I'm selling it. Yeah, you better not be buying it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spider Co. Smock. Uh, this is the Knife Joy exclusive in smooth black car, uh, G10 with uh, CPM 20 CV blade steel. This one still has the second detent installed, but you can certainly take it out if you want to. Uh, awesome knife. Really, really like the smock. 
um, and it won't hurt my feelings if it doesn't sell, but uh, this one is two twenty-five. dollars Next up, Spyderco. Canis, 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 whatever you want to call it. Um, it's an awesome worn cliff with an awesome hollow grind. Cool ass knife for sure. Um, tai Chung, Taiwan, really ergonomic in hand. Way better than it looks in person. On or, or well, I think it's you know it feels better in hand than it really looks like it would. Um, but super cool knife, and the Canis is one eighty. Was that the dirt bike knife in the catalog? Uh, no, that was the Swayback. Oh, okay. Uh, next up is the Endura Teal, uh, Teal Colored FRN. This is in CPM S30V. You can see right, hopefully, right there. Um, really cool knife. It's like Tiffany blue color, and it's the Endura, so it's big. Um, and this one here is $95. Uh, next one up is the Emerson Endura with Navy Blue FRN. Uh, this one's in VG10 blade steel. And this one is $90 for the, Endur or the Emerson Endura. Next one. Oop, never mind. Not that one. Next one up is this one right here. This is the Abel Reels uh, Bonefish Native 5. This is an LC200N. Absolutely gorgeous knife. Um, you know, these things are only sold at Abel Reels uh, dealers, but the artwork on these are super, super impressive. It's, yeah, the ergos on these things are just unbelievable. If you've never held a, a Native 5 in hand, it's so good. Is it good for you? I'll let you try it. Yeah. And if you choke it, it's so good, right? Yeah. <coughs> Speaking mm. of choking up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm choked up just Zing. thinking about it. <laughs> All right. Had to get a drink there. You would have thought that my co-host would have talked while I was doing that, but no. Anyway. No, I have a headache. Leave me alone. LC 200N, uh, aluminum scales, really amazing anodizing work on these things. Awesome, awesome knife. Uh, they sell for like $500. I think they're $495 actually from Able Real Dealers. Uh, here, $395. So, oop, let me set that one over here. Okay. She's special. She's special, yeah. Uh, next one up is the, I don't remember where this was an exclusive to, but it's the glow in the dark Zome pattern blackout, uh, Delica. So it is VG 10 blade steel. It has the glow in the dark Zome, uh, FRN scales, black blade, black backspacer and, and lock bar, black pocket clip, pretty awesome knife. Almost gives it like a camouflage look. I really dig the blackout uh, with the Zome pattern. Looks really cool. Uh, this one here is $95. Okay, now, this here is a Spyderco Pacific II uh, Salt series. And so it's rocking the H1 blade steel. This one is fully serrated with the black FRN. I have it in multiple different configurations. Um, some of them are black blade, some of them are satin blade, and some of them are yellow. One of them is yellow. I don't remember which one it is. Uh, but, so I've got two satin, two, um, there we go, there's a yellow one. So there's, there's one yellow one, uh, plain edge with satin blade. There's a black one, uh, a black blade that is serrated and a black plain edge or a satin serrated or satin plain edge or the yellow plain edge. The only one I don't have is the yellow serrated one. So the others I do have, you can choose any of them that you like. All of them are $85. And I got five five models of this to choose from: black or satin blade, ye yellow handle. Eighty-five dollars each. Each. That's right. 
So, let me set these off to the side. Okay. Where are we at here now? Oh. Next up is the Little Native in Rex 45. This is Burnt Orange G10, Rex 45 Blade Steel, brand new in the box, deep carry wire clip, cool little knife. It is a compression lock knife. Uh, the Little Native is, is a pretty cool little guy. And this one here is 150 bucks. Brand new, never been used. Brand new, never been used. Um, next up, we've got the Manix 2 XL in M4 blade steel and Jade G10. This was a Blade HQ exclusive. Uh, you can actually see in the handle. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's a lot of weight relieving going on. These are actually really cool knives. Um, you know, I just can't, uh, I can't afford to keep them all, guys. Uh, but the Blade HQ exclusive, uh, there's actually a pair of them. Manix 2 XLs, both are CPM M4 blade steel, JG10. Uh, the blacked out one actually has, they did it right on this one, black clip, black liners, black blade. Everything's DLC coated, black lanyard tube. It's all there. Uh, the satin version is $175. The black one is $200. And they come with the certificate, paperwork, boxes, stickers, all the stuff. And blah, maybe blah, blah, blah. maybe a, a free random Maybe. Knife. Watch that one. It might fall off. It looks oh, airy it's for not, me. Nope. It wasn't nearly as close as you thought. Okay. Okay. So now uh, we're getting out of, uh, uh, out of Spyderco and... SOG. This is the SOG Terminus XR. This one's the carbon fiber with cryo-treated S35 VN blade steel. Uh, it's got the XR lock, uh, deep carry pocket clip, uh, pretty cool little knife, and this one here is 75 bucks. Cryo-treated. Yep. All right, now we're getting into, uh, oh, not yet, not just yet. Uh, here we've got the TEC pry bar. Uh, this is totally titanium. Uh, it has a titanium pocket clip with a um, glass breaker? carbide, yeah, carbide glass breaker or just meat sticker. I guess oh, I don't yeah. know. It's pretty sharp on the end there. I poker. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of cool. It's got this kind of work down area on the bottom side for your finger and this area right here. You can put your thumb and. Used for a little pry bar. I kind of like this one. It's right? small. It's pretty good. I could have used that many times in the last few days. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, but um, mainly just because I want to do it more than anything. Um, I'm offering this one up for 45 bucks, and I'll anodize it any color that you want. So you get to pick the anno color, and I will do something cool with this thing, and we'll anodize it and, yeah, make it look cool. So 45 bucks with some custom anno. The, the price includes the NO work. So, cool little pry bar. Uh, now we're getting into some Two Suns. So, first up, Two Sun TS66 G10. This is blue and white G10, deep carry clip, 14C28N blade steel. This is a night morning design. It is a flipper. It's got great ergonomics. Awesome, awesome knife. Uh, and this one is 50 bucks. Video bones. Yep. Yeah. Next one is the Tucson TS89. This is full titanium. It's got custom uh, anthropic finish or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did the anno work on it. It's gorgeous out in the sunlight. This one's rocking S90V blade steel. It's a long design. It's three and three quarter inch blade. Action is amazing. And it's 165 bucks. Next up is a black slip joint. This is the Tucson TS-130. It's got black titanium M390 blade steel. Awesome knife, like a sheep's foot style blade. Really thin behind the edge. Really neutral in the grip. Great knife with the half stop. It's got a pull all the way across the top. It's a cool knife for sure. Oh, and it has a pocket clip. Optimal bloodletting. Yep, optimal bloodletting. Cool knife. Um, here's a weird one. The TS-160. They call it the News. 
uh, full titanium construction, long design, M390 blade steel, super, super thin behind the edge. I mean, this thing is a, a laser beam for sure. Uh, this little guy back here um, aids in kind of making it a locking knife. Um, so it's kind of goofy looking, but it's actually super comfortable in hand. Way, way better than it looks. But uh, does have a pocket clip on it. Cool knife. Something different. And this one here is 75 bucks for full titanium and M390. You can't beat it. Next one is one of my favorite all-time slip joints ever. This is the Tucson TS-164. It's got black wash titanium scales, M390 blade steel. I, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but I'm wanting to say it's like eight or nine thousandths behind the edge. It is stupid thin. Uh, just absolutely a, a wicked, wicked blade on this thing. It's perfectly centered. It's got a pocket clip. It's an awesome knife. Uh, that leaf-shaped blade is super, super cool. Uh, this one here is 95 bucks. Mm -hmm. Tucson TS-190 Cobra. <laughs> the Cobra. I, if you didn't do it, I would have. Yeah. The, the uh, Cobra is a night-morning design. This is a pretty new... Uh, Tucson that just came out, uh, action on it is amazing. It's a great knife. Uh, full titanium, 14C28N, gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Uh, this one is 90 bucks. Next up, a coveted Tucson. The Tucson TS204 Bronc. This one is in... CPM S90V. You can see this one's number 27. It is a Tepe and uh, uh, Matt, Matt Szymanski. That's who that is. The MS and Tepe design, Mr. Sean Hassan. Awesome knife. It's riding on ceramic bearings. All the Tucson flippers are on ceramic bearings. This one's got full titanium liners. It's got a hardened steel insert on that titanium liner. You got white G10, carbon fiber, red pivot collar, uh, full titanium uh, pocket clip here. Man, it's it's just, it's an amazing knife. I love this thing. It's awesome. It's got a forward choil that is just absolutely perfect and gorgeous. And it looks dapper too yeah. with that black and white. Yeah, no doubt. It's an awesome, awesome looking knife. And I mean, you could dye the white whatever color you want. No, leave it alone. Yeah, I like it just like that. I think the white looks awesome. Uh, S90V, tit full titanium liners. I mean, yeah. So this one here, 165 bucks. And I mean, you guys know if, if any other manufacturer made this, this would be a three or $400 knife with these materials and uh yeah it's amazing it's like brand new and yeah awesome awesome knife so 165 next one is the ts232 this is one that i've done some custom anodizing work i actually have a whole video uh that my wife filmed while i was doing this so you can see how I did the two-tone on the pivot collars so on both sides. And you get, and it's famous. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is Jig Titanium. Um, you can see it, the light comes off of it extremely well. This is the pointed version, 14C28N. It is ceramic bearings with the custom anno work. And this one here is $110. Next up, this is the Tucson TS-241. This one is rocking fat carbon, titanium liners. It's the double detent, also S90V. This is an XY design, uh, or YX design, sorry. And it has awesome action on ceramic bearings, double detent. You can just sit here and fidget with this thing all day long. And this one here, I'm selling for 105 bucks. Next up, the Tucson TS-252. This happens to be a traditional slip joint. It's in Damascus blade steel. It's like jelly roll Damascus. 
Um, you've got snake wood with brass bolsters, brass pins. It comes with this leather kind of cordage with a little brass bead on it. That's just the way it came. Um, and this one here is $65 for the 252. Next up, my wife is going too soon. This is oh. the TS-777. Oh, is that uh, what that number was? <laughs> this is uh, this is the uh, bicycle tool. And it's kind of interesting. Obviously, comes with this pouch. And you get all these different tools. I'm not going to pull them all out, but there's a bunch of them in there. And so you get like uh seven eight nine ten up to 15 i don't even remember how big it goes but i've i've got a review on this thing um and then you got a spoke wrench and yeah here there you go there's the spoke wrench right there and screwdrivers uh pretty cool and you definitely uh there's your eight millimeter 15 so it's it's an awesome little tool especially if you do a lot of bicycling um, and it's made out of 420 stainless steel. Uh, you can see you've got a little measuring stick on the back side, but cool, awesome tool. I really dig it. I think it's pretty neat, and it's 50 bucks. Brand new in the pouch. Um, oh, pouch. That's right. I've never heard the word pouch used so much as <laughs> I have today. Okay. So, there you go. Oh. It, it even has a little belt loop on there, so you can... Uh, look super douchey. Yeah, look super <laughs> douchey. All right. Last but not least, we have... Oop, flipped it the wrong way. The Wii Angst. This is a Justin Lundquist design. This is the carbon fiber green G10. Uh, it's got uh, bronze colored hardware, and I went ahead and made the pocket clip match because this is a titanium pocket clip. I just felt like it needed to. So, in my opinion, it looks cooler. Hopefully, you guys like it as well. Uh, this is S35VN blade steel. Uh, awesome, awesome little dagger. It is only one-sided. Um, you could sharpen the other side. It's thin enough for sure. Uh, but, you know, you'd have to be pretty careful with it at that point if you did that. You wouldn't have to worry about getting into the blade anywhere. Uh, but opening and close or closing it really would be the only thing uh but awesome little knife crazy lightweight i mean this thing is insanely light and this knife right here with the custom anno all the paperwork otherwise other than me taking it apart and putting it on camera it's brand new 165 bucks so there there you go so have a dagger have a dagger so depending on how many knives sell um i'm gonna throw in and i'm gonna start with the uh the crkt ck folder um and then the next one i'm gonna throw in will be the harns assassin and then the cjrb centros and then the kubi whatever that is and then lastly will be the um uh, Tucson TS-50. So, a, as well as, I, like I said, I have a few other things that I'll probably throw in as well. They're more kind of like little little EDC kind of trinket tool things. But, uh, but anyway, so hopefully you guys have a good time. Enjoy the sale. Uh, there's a lot of really awesome stuff on here. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up. Uh, but if you want to uh, get to me, the, the quickest will be info at ocd4edc.com that email i will be checking it constantly as soon as this video goes up that is the email you need to e uh, contact me at to purchase a knife that is the only place to contact to yes. purchase a knife yep yep so if you you know if you have my instagram or you message me here on on youtube I, you know, I may see it, but I can't guarantee that I'll see it in time or whatever. So please, please send all your messages to that email address, info at OCD4EDC.com. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Hopefully you enjoyed this. It's a ton of knives. Uh, we got lots of stuff out here on the table. And yeah, good yeah, luck. Buy and, some knives, boys yeah, and girls. Happy, happy purchasing. <laughs> yeah.
All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye.